Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 3 is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 2. And we want to find our value of x here. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to divide both sides by Well, before that, actually, sorry. If I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of x plus 3 and 3 to the power of x plus 2. 2 to the power of x plus 3, this would equal 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3. 3 to the power of x plus 2, this is going to equal 3 to the power of x times 3 squared. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to the power of 3, as well as 3 to the power of x. So now I have 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x, because these two cancel out. And for my right-hand side, these two cancel out, so I'll have 3 squared over 2 to the power of 3. All right, so now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x, this is going to equal 2 over 3 to the power of x. And now I'm not going to do anything with this. This will still remain 3 squared over 2 to the power of 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 3 squared over 2 to the power of 3. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. So for log 2 over 3 to the power of x, I'm going to use this property and move my exponent here, x, to the front of the logarithm. So now I'm going to have x times log 2 over 3 is equal to log 3 squared over 2 to the power of 3. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 2 over 3. So then these two cancel out. And I have x is equal to log 3 squared over 2 to the power of 3 divided by log 2 over 3. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So for log 3 squared over 2 to the power of 3, this will equal log 3 squared minus log 2 to the power of 3. And for log 2 over 3, it's going to equal log 2 minus log 3. Now remember, the property that states if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So I'm going to use this property for both log 3 squared and log 2 to the power of 3. So I'm going to move my exponent to the front of the logarithm. So now I have x is equal to 2 times log 3 minus 3 times log 2 
divided by log 2 minus log 3. Now, log 3, this is equal to 0 0.4771. And log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to, if I substitute in the values for 0 0.4771 and 0 0.301, I get 2 times 0 0.4771 minus 3 times 0 0.301, and I'm dividing this by 0 0.301 minus 0 0.4771. Now 2 times 0 0.4771 is 0 0.9542 minus, now 3 times 0 0.301 is 0 0.903. Now I'm going to divide this by 0 0.301 minus 0 0.4771 is negative 0 0.1761. And this is equal to 0 0.0512 over negative 0 0.1761. So finally, x is equal to approximately negative 0 0.2907. Now, to check, I'm going to plug in the value for x into the original equation. So I have 2 to the power of x plus 3 is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 2. And remember, x is equal to negative 0 0.2907. So now I have 2 to the power of negative 0 0.2907, which is equal to 3 to the power of negative 0 0.2907. And oops, I forgot the plus 3 and plus 2. So now negative 0 0.2907 plus 3, that's going to equal 2.7093. And negative 0 0.2907 plus 2, that is equal to 1.7093. So now if you plug this into a calculator, you get 0 0.5400 which is equal to approximately 0 0.5394. And these two round up to each other. So 0 6.54 is equal to 6.54. And because this is right, our solution is right as well. Yeah.